Austin Walker and Vinny Caravella. Alex Navarro. Alex, welcome to the wasteland. Hey, it's great to be here. What, what, I just came in town. I'm here for the weekend. Awesome. Well, uh, uh, we're, we're going to party. I've uh, got this wrench. Nice. Uh, we're going to have yeah. a wrench party over here. Hashtag wrench party. Yeah. Oh, I'm from... Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Filling up my canteen. Okay. More water. What's there to do here in the wasteland? I mean, oh. I'm only here for a bit. Oh, the things we do out here in the wasteland. So, uh, I just wanted to open here on this shot because it was really nice. It's, it's like pretty. early morning, magic hour stuff. Yeah. Uh, so... Get out your camera. Yeah, so I just... This is a... This is Mad Max. I haven't said this out loud yet. Ah, okay. Uh, is out on uh, consoles and PC right now. Uh, I have been wandering around the wasteland here for about eight or nine hours or so, I'd say. Okay. And uh, here we're gonna we're gonna go back to my car. Well, no, Oop. see, I'm not going to go back to my car because these guys are trying to figure out how to get to me now that I've cleared this small <laughs> encampment. Oh wow! Yeah. And they can't right because there. the cars don't fit. <laughs> You're, you're through like, this little oh, little narrow oh. passage here. You're like it's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon where Jerry's just inside the mouse hole. Yeah. And like I'm gonna Tom, get you. Tom is just reaching the paw. Nah, and, I'm gonna get you. And the best part is they keep wrecking each other but a little they bit. But then heal like I'm the not second sure they're off the, screen. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening there. Hi. Can you just throw a grenade? Do you have a grenade? I, you know what I do have, actually. Now that you mention it, just watch for out for that bear trap. Yeah, I see the traps. I'm not going. I'm going to try not to walk onto where, the bear traps. Where did you possible. find bear traps? I, I didn't put them there. The uh, people who were previously yours. in the settlement before I murdered all of them. Uh, Will they spring if you step on them? Uh, you know what? I don't really want to test it right this <laughs> second because I'm holding a can of gasoline. Uh, but what I can do. This is a good. This is an all right holding a can of gasoline animation. Yeah. This kind of looks like. Well, it's there's heavy. a lot of very all right, maybe slightly too uh, realistic uh, animations. No, no. Hey guys, I got hey guys. That, that gas you wanted. <laughs> so that probably did something at least. Yeah, that one's on fire. Did you still in there? Can you carjack? Uh, not, I've not been able to successfully carjack. The best I've been able to do... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, there's your car. That's my car. Under the covers. Uh, uh, they, uh, I think they're talking about the cars. I think they're talking about the cars. I think there's... Yeah. Oh, oh, you missed. I missed. <laughs> Wait, whose side is he on? He's on our side. Is he? Because he just... Okay. Yeah, that's Chum Bucket. That's our uh, uh, our little mechanic me? friend. Chum Bucket. Chum Bucket. Chum that's Bucket. his name. <clears throat> like Chumbawamba. Are they still trying to? Are they uh, trying they're still to... trying to get over there, which is hilarious. Well, three point turns are hard. Right? Yeah, this is like a thousand point turn. Can you, do you have a gun? Can you shoot? Well, so I do. I have a, a shotgun, but I also only have one bullet right now, oh, and so I would kind of rather save that. So I think yes. instead, I'm just going to keep ramming into these cars until they explode. Good. Seems fair. So the AI in this game is fantastic, huh? You know, the driving AI, I'd say, is where the weaknesses mostly lie. All right, so we blew up two of those. That one's on the verge of exploding, yeah, so let's just what? finish it off. This is good fire. Hey, this is a good fire. Yeah. Good video game fire. And you fire. see all that shit? You see all those little gear icons? Yeah, it's scrap. Up? That's scrap. Is that a Mr. Fusion? There's so much scrap. Oh, there's another one. Hey, am I late? <laughs> you guys want a party? Oh, he punched you. Yeah, he did, but that's the only one he's going to get off. There we go. Hey, hey Bucket check this out. Working on your engine right now while you beat the shit out of this So thing? Chum Bucket follows you around as long as you are driving your primary vehicle, which is the Magnum Opus. That is kind of the big hook of this game, is mm. that you are designing your own post-apocalyptic death machine as you wander through the wasteland doing missions for a whole lot of people. For a post-apocalypse, this is a well-populated area with a lot of warlords and various people doing things. Post-post-apocalypse, right? Uh, yes, and so he's follow he follows you around, uh, and he also uh, will fix your car as long as you are not inside of it and driving around. Mm. Uh, can you get in another car? Yeah, I can get in this car right now if I want How to. How do you get inside that car? Oh, that door opens. I open the door. Oh, and you're undetected by the Scrotus faction. So Scrotus is the primary warlord okay. in this game. Uh, Scrotus Scabarus. Which is not pleasant sounding no, at sounds, all. That sounds like a that thing. Is given name or is that a stage? You name? know, I'm not certain. That's uh, his confirmation. I'm gonna get back into my car though. It's Michael, <laughs> score <Scrotus> Michael. <laughs> Scabbers. And we're gonna drive to the next story mission. Whoa. I could just fast travel, but I'm gonna drive to it because I want to kind of show off a little bit of the area. This is. These are all the areas I've been so hey, far. Hey, is this Australia? Is, is this Australia? You know, it's zoom out. Here's the thing. There's a lot of Australian accents, and there are a lot of not Australian accents mm. in this game. Oh, weird. Pink Eye. I haven't met Pink Eye yet. So far, I've only met Jeet and Gut Gash, who are two of the, the not-so-evil warlords around. They're still warlords. 
They are, in fact, still warlords. This has kind of blown my mind a little bit. Uh, I'll tell you why this is blowing my mind. Because in like the Mad Max that I know from the films, mm -hmm. uh, it's usually very localized, and yes. the distances always seem like they're within yeah, like a couple of miles, maybe 50 miles or so. Uh, and seeing a map that just says, no, this entire continent is pretty much a wasteland, I, I, like, I always imagine somewhere, if you drove far enough, would be like, hey, welcome, guys. What, right. what the hell are you doing out there just fighting in the dirt? Well, that's uh, the other thing, is that uh, they talk a lot about how a lot of the areas are like dried up seabeds. Uh, so that some of this oh, may weird. have been more ocean at one point. There's a lot of like people, li like this is a stronghold inside of an abandoned boat. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. This is Gut Gash's area. This is where he uh, lives and Well, and is that a hologram? Job. What was behind you there? It looked like a Mass Effect hologram. Yeah, is that a thing like you could build or something? Okay, so yes. Uh, in these strongholds, there are these different things that <laughs> you can- What you running here, Max? Yeah, so these oh, different- Oh, uh, farm. Basic things you can build, uh, and you have to pick up parts throughout the wasteland uh, in order to build those things. And that so, improves these. These aren't. This isn't like your base, but it's like a base of someone you're allied with. Yes, basically? but you can you can partake basically? of those those things. Yes, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So like you're that. in an abandoned boat that used to be full of oil and cigarettes. Uh, possibly among other things. Yes. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go get our next story mission this here. Is smoker's base. So the story in this game, which I so I've been playing this for about eight hours ish, uh, and so, so possible far, spoilers if people are just jumping in here. Yeah, but this is like a thirty-hour game. It sounds like. That's so, not from Australia. Sure you are. Yeah, this guy's not. Now me, I know a lot about this is gut gash. Well, people could have you know been vacationing when the apocalypse happened. It's true. You want something? Say it. Ain't no sweet talking you, is there? All right. Does he look like someone that sweet talks? Seen that harpoon device of yours. Not bad. Your car has a harpoon. Okay. So something extra though. Sort of a final flourish, let's say. And that's where you come in. Uh, the jaw looks imposing, but it's got a weakness. Is that the boat? The jaw is the big uh, gate that leads <clears throat> to Gas Town, uh, which is kind of where you're headed, ideally. Something called the Talon. But there's not a whole lot of plot in this game. Uh, for the most part, basically what happens is your car gets taken from you by Scabarus early on in a cutscene that you have no control over. Then uh, Chum Bucket shows up, rescues you, tells you there's a prophecy, because of fucking course there is. Of course there is. And the driver is the one who will save them all or whatever. Prophecy. So he follows you around with a kind of weird religious devotion, and meanwhile you're just kind of like trying to make good with these warlords that have nothing to do with Scabarus. And in the meantime, you're finding, like, I need seven rocks. I need, you know, hey, I love Mostly, my keys. you're finding a lot of scrap, and you're finding some very specific parts for your, uh, your, your business. I would love to help you, but I need X number of X item. Yes. Yes. Also, right. use this holographic desk. desk. All right, so we're going to head out of here. Uh, so this is not based off the movie. It is not. Uh, well, but it seems like it's taking cues. From so the it, it definitely features some of the same thematic elements. The War Boys uh, and Immortan Joe are both referenced. And in fact, you fight War Boys on a regular basis. But Joe, as far as I know, never shows up in this game. And this is this is like... Scrotus is supposed to be his son. Right. And therefore one of his like primary warlord, like, you know, people who work under him. So I don't know enough about Mad Max to know if there are visual novels, comic books, like I know the movies, but like, I don't know if there's a, a source that you could draw from that is not the new movie that they're all taking common inspiration from. My understanding is that the way George Miller has, has talked about Mad Max is like, Mad Max is kind of this abstract setting where he happily doesn't go too deep into lore, and that things shift around. This is for the movie. Right, for the films, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing, is that like, Max as a character is more just like a, a right. I don't know what the term is. I don't, not it's an a, idea. Yeah, he's a, he, has a, he has a concept. He just sort of exists in this world. Uh, and the stories that take place within it uh, are all kind of standalone. So this is different in the sense that it does kind of try to put a little bit more focus on Max, but it doesn't really, so, at least not so far, uh, do much of anything with it. Is he uh, like a deep character? Does he have lots no. of... No. Basically, the, the depth <laughs> of his character is that he has this picture of his family from when, you know, before everything went to shit, and he's sad about it. Cool. So in the Mad Max timeline, it is, at least here, 
it is understood that Max was around before the apocalypse app. Apocalypse yeah, he was a, he was a state trooper or something before all of that. Okay, because that's the Road Warrior is that also, right? Yes. But like that's this is a pretty fast turnaround. Yeah, it got bad. Like real fast. Yeah. Like people were are, ready. So there are like fan timelines that look at the different films and like the state of society to figure out like okay, well maybe this has been this this long since that first since things went bad, you know? Yeah. Like, unless Max had a kid when he was, like, two years old, like, I mean, we're only talking, like, maybe 15, 20 years? That's, yeah. I, I, I Again, the timeline is not really meant to be, I think, given Picked that apart. much scrutiny. Okay. Right. Oh, it's man, an I gotta idea. get out of here. Like, cause... Ganon died in this one, and right. then it split the timeline. Yes. This is the dark future. Oh, oh God. you got out of the car, huh? I did. Chum Bucket never dies, right? There, I just pulled that guy out of the car. I need this. Oh, and then he just went into a sick Whoa. freaking... I'm yeah. glad that rock was there to hide to, oh, my my uh, my poor baby eyes. Uh, chum buckets, we got a lot of work that. to do. That so, car is trying to figure out how to get to me. Oh, figured it out. Good dodge. Where, Where did he go? He's up in the rocks. He's in the, what? Star, he's in the what? styrofoam. I don't holders. know what I just did there. <laughs> I literally don't know. Hey, get. hey, hey. Check this out. Jeez. Oh. Eat it. Oh, right that on his butt. A, that was a butt kill. Also, in a slight nod, perhaps, to the new film, Max has Fury Mode. Mad okay. Max Fury Mode. <laughs> oh. that's, that's the name of the movie, right? Yeah, yeah it's, that's exactly it. Uh -huh. Mad Max Fury Mode. Yeah, pretty much. Some buckets in your back of your car again. Yep. So I could try to blow those cars apart and uh, pick up some scrap, but yeah. I'm going to stick with this mission. So i got to go find a convoy. Which I actually haven't done yet, so this will be a fun new mission type for me to try. So okay. there's no incentive to like keep the cars from blowing up. Like you don't basically take so your car and then just if you get take, more scrap. So if you take one with you, you have access to that car from any stronghold as long as you take it there. Oh, neat. so you have to park it in your garage, basically. basically. Can you call Chum Bucket to drive the car to you? So he will drive your car to you. He will not drive any of the other cars okay, to you. So if you were to drive that He's other car, you don't have to go out and get it and walk back and get it. Right. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, there's a flare gun you can use to signal him like he's, you know, your horse in The Witcher. <laughs> sure. Sean Bucket's a one-car kind of guy, yeah. you know? Well, no, the Magnum Opus is his design, and he's very, oh. very particular about it. He believes this is, like, his holy machine. Do you think maybe you can get Chum Bucket a seat next to you in eh. the car? He seems happy. He, he seems does. fine where he, he does is. He does seem happy. He's, this, is, this is his workout plan, actually. This is just good upper body. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we're following a route that this convoy takes, uh, and we're just trying to find the car. How's the driving feel? It's okay. It's very loose, yes. but in a way that I think is sensible for this kind of, okay. you know, this dirt kind of experience. And... Yeah, dirt roads and, you know, just machines built out of shit, pretty much. No sharp turns. No. no. Okay. A lot of drifting. Uh, so the hand-to-hand -hand combat seems very uh, Batman-esque for a lack of a real descriptive It's extremely way. Batman slash Shadow of Mordor. Uh, mm -hmm. And the, So the overarching thing I've gotten from this Say, game thus War far... Warner Brothers-esque? Yeah, that's the thing, <laughs> is that this game very much feels like it was built from a template. Uh, specifically the Warner Brothers template for, you know, how open world games play. And open a, world brand games. Yeah. Like, Whoa! Whoa! It. I was a good guy! It's a damn good explosion, I just gotta say. Ain't no good guys in the wasteland, man. I guess not. Keep an eye on the car. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pick this shit up off the ground, don't mind me. I guess you're either a bad guy or you're dead. Pretty much. But yeah, so everything about this game feels like it's just built from that same template. And it, it, like, they're just, they stuff the license materials into, you know, the vague, Areas, I, I I don't know. It's just like it, it doesn't have a lot of originality to it, at least not in its design. Well, I really like Shadow of Mordor. Yes, I like Batman. Uh, is this is this at least for you a fun game to play, even if it's um, separated from Mad Max a bit? I'm having some fun with it. Like there are <laughs> oh, fun okay. things to do in it. Mm. Uh, the problem is the actual like Road Warrior Mad Max stuff in it is not really that interesting. Like none of the characters I've met were particularly like like Chum Bucket has the most personality of anyone I've met so far. And granted, yes, it's a harsh, horrible wasteland, and everyone sucks. I get that, but 
Like, I don't know, it just all feels a little bit phoned in in terms of like the writing and the characters and just like anything that would make you like excited about being in this universe and being a part of this world. So like the, the car stuff isn't exceptional? No, it's fine. That's like, you know, like for Shadow of Mordor, the Lord of the Rings stuff was kind of almost take it or leave it. Yes. But yeah. the nemesis system was awesome. Right. The, the, the mission structures were pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of fun to be had in that world. Uh, and then it kind of, that somebody took a big paintbrush, dipped it in Lord of the Rings, and then just colored in, you know? Yep. Uh, but it sounds like maybe this doesn't have a strong enough foundation. Is that what you're saying? Like, just mechanically? I mean, it's, it's the, I would say the mechanics are decent. They're just, they're not special. Like, there's nothing about it that says, like, well, this really takes, you know, a different tack from what the, you know, the various other open world games like this are doing. You know, Mordor had the Nemesis system, and this doesn't really have anything that's, like, super memorable to mm -hmm. it. At least I not so far. I hate that it comes up and says level blank harpoon required yes. when you're mousing or when you're like aiming over. They're different very parts. they're very concerned about level considerations in this horrible dystopic <laughs> death trap right. of a world. I'm fine with it needing. I'm fine with there being a leveled up harpoon and like needing a better harpoon to break into the armor oh, this or whatever. Being an asshole. All right. Yeah, it's being rough. Uh, but but it's like. One of the things I liked about Fury Road so much is that that was a film that taught its audience, it was very efficient, it taught the audience the rules of the world through showing how the strange things in this world function. Yes. Right? Like, there's the scene early on where the word boys should, you know, do the shiny chrome thing. Like, oh, I understand what this is. They show the, like, the explosive harpoons. Oh, I understand what that is. And then later in the film, they do more complex things, you know, once you understand the basics. And, like, a big... This is the kind of like my my fear with this game is that like the big almost like Ubisoft open world style thing doesn't fit the thematic sparseness. It really doesn't. And of Mad Max. It's 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 the same problem I had to a degree with. I mean, there were a lot of problems with Assassin's Creed Unity, but uh, one of them was that it was so pa densely packed with shit to do, and almost like maybe a third of it felt like it was even remotely useful. Right. Oh boy, my car's in bad shape. Are you gonna explode if you don't get out? Yeah, I'm gonna get out. It's okay, I'm on this convoy route and I can find the guy. Sorry, chum, put Again, that out. Just just fix the car <laughs> and fix then the we'll, car, we'll deal with this. It's like, oh, I got this, I'm uh, dealing with it. Right. He's getting away, saying yeah, yeah I know, well, I know. the car's on fire, my friend. I think this is cool. This is a thing I like. I do like dude fixing your car while you're. <laughs> Yeah, I it's just it. not ideal because there, this is another thing about this game. It's very invested in its realism in mm -hmm. ways that do not necessarily befit the sort of cinematic style universe that they're trying to recreate. Okay. So like, you know, you have to sit there and you have to wait for him to fix your car. Whenever you uh, you find water or you find food, you have to sit there and watch okay. Max go through the same animation over and over again, and watch as you know the the canteen refills or he eats maggots or whatever it right. is that he does, and it just it's constantly doing stuff like that. Like the scrap, you can't auto collect the scrap. You always have to get out and pick it up. I think eventually you get a harpoon that yeah. lets you pick it up while you're in the car. I've heard that that's like the first upgrade you should go for in each zone. Yeah. Apparently there's something that you can get that lets you just pick up scrap. And like, if that's the if that's the default, there was a rule of Magic the Gathering, which was if, if you couldn't imagine building a deck without a certain card in it, yeah. that card needs to be banned because it's too powerful. And that's like one of my rules for video games. Like if there's always an upgrade that everyone gets first, maybe that should be a thing that is core to the quality of life game experience. So maybe don't make you park every single time. Yeah. You know? Like maybe just, just take it down a notch in terms of yeah. the realism. Alex, I like this harpoon. It's a cool harpoon. It is a cool harpoon. I gotta get out of this car because it's, it's gonna okay. catch on fire again. That but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's gonna smell, it's gonna smell. It's gonna smell Don't mind me! Ooh, good <clears throat> dodge. Can you uh is there granularity to like shooting out tires and stuff? Yeah, and that's another thing that cool. like requires levels and stuff. Like you can't if if the if a car is built up in a certain way. You can't just shoot out their tires. You have to have like enough of a gun skill or enough of uh, like a high enough harpoon right. in order to take that stuff out. Real basic cars, you can just shoot out the tires or their gas tanks or whatever. But this one has some armor on it, so that takes more more work. All it's right. really I'm, nice. That you, means, uh, you, this is all the work that uh, you can do right now. Just 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 make the car go. Okay, <laughs> that's that's all I'm asking. Oh, that guy's body finally fell off. Jeez. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it, it, when it says like harpoon level four needed to take this tire off like that feels like like that one of those yeah. moments of just like you should shoot that it should bounce off 
and then Chum Bucket should say, we, we're gonna need a, a bigger harpoon sure. for that one, oh, there you governor! So I just that's used not a shotgun. Good, that's, not all sure, that's not... That was not a good Australian accent. But so I shot that guy's tire out, and that's the thing, that stopped his car. But the thing is, I don't really like doing that because you don't, you only get so many sh guns, you right, know, and, right. and, and ammo, like, the, the bullets are hard to come by. Mm. Apparently not gasoline, though. Everything's on fire. But yeah, there is gasoline. Whoa, what is happening oh, over here? I think here? there's a sandstorm happening oh. here, and that's oh, damaging. Oh, is that a twister? It seems like it, yeah. I don't know, try and go around it? <laughs> Draw! Yeah, car. I think I can just shoot this <laughs> tank, though. A tank looks like it's already on fire. Yeah, not on fire enough, though. Mm. I didn't do it. All right, well, I'm just going to have to keep uh, ramming this thing, I think. Punch it. What did I just... Oh, I think I ran into... So that's another thing in the world. Uh, you occasionally run into these storms. Sometimes they're just like sand storms like that, which are not really, you know, the worst thing in the world. But then you get these really nasty electrical storms where there's, like, lightning shooting everywhere. Mm. Uh, and those you have to just kind of, like, ride out. You can drive around in them, and you, like, those things will kick up a lot of scrap, so you can do that, but, like, that's also, there's also a risk that you'll get destroyed if you're out there. Gotcha. Whoa. Oh, boy. Whoa. Is that your car? No, that's no, his that's... car. You're just All waiting right. for the big pop. Well, now I'm going to go get my car, <laughs> and I'm going to do a double shot here. Chum Bucket seems pretty happy with it's the It's like repairs. taking a little nap. You gotta get that loot. Yep. Get that scrap. Oh, oh two four bonus. four shells. From the Volition ability. I got four shotgun shells. That's, That's the most. Yeah. That is probably the most. You did it. Nice. Chum Bucket, I'm a little worried for you out in the open there. There's fire everywhere. It's like stuff is... Desert storms. People have guns. Yep. All right. So that was the thing I needed to get. Yeah, I'll install it on the front. Why not? Oh, you can just pick that off the car? You had to blow it up. Yeah. You did it! Just like everything else in this world, you have to you have to explode it. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stand on this flaming husk. Let's get my keys. <sighs> get my wallet here. Oh, it's hot. It's definitely hot. But okay. That's you I'm fine. really I'm need fine. that scrap, that's yeah. all. I mean, you do. You need as much scrap as you can get in this game. And the scrap is for building the stuff in your base? Yeah, it's for everything. It's for upgrading Max. It's for upgrading uh, the car. Like, Max can upgrade? Can we see? It was like his... his so, yeah, let's... In fact, yes. Let's get into the uh, the upgrades menu here real quick. Ah, uh, menus. Did you buy that beard with scrap? Uh, I did. Okay, good. Oh, no, that makes you me didn't. Happy. Oh, I did. That's silly. Yeah, you need, you need scrap to buy all this stuff. Uh, so these are the various upgrades for Max. Uh, Knuckle Dusters, obviously, Whoop, are just don't like, punch him there. Yeah, these <laughs> are his. Watch uh, out, Max. Yep. These <laughs> Low are. Low blow. <laughs> those are hand-to-hand -hand combat upgrades. You can upgrade his jacket, okay. wrist armor, ammo belt, which actually I could. I can't do anything with that now. Uh, and you can change the way. Yeah. Like I can make him slightly less beardy, uh, or okay. I can make him not really beardy at all. Oh wow. Uh, there are obviously a lot more of these, but I haven't gotten to them yet. Jeez. How do you unlock those? Is that just Just over time. It? It's just you level oh, okay. up over time, and then you get access to those. Okay. Uh, and then here's the garage, which, okay, so that's the real basic thing, stuff here. It's like, here's all the stuff for your car. Uh, you know, various uh, defensive mechanisms and Thunder engine Poons. things and what, what have you. And Thunderpoon, yeah, you know, that's a thing. And then there's these Archangels, which are uh, essentially template designs for the cars, which you just, as long as you collect the correct parts, you can just make the car look like this if you Wait, want. Wait, you can make your car look like this? Yes. You just have to find the right bodies Jeez. and various other parts. Okay. So there's some serious variation in what the cars look like. There is. And I mean, again, that's, that's a huge focus of the game, which I get. Um, but I just, I'm not really that excited about building up my car yet. Is that... Has it not like sold you on that? Has it not given enough time to the magnum opus, or is it just like not interesting no matter what? I don't know. Like I, I keep waiting for the death machine thing to really make much difference, and it's like no, it's just my car just gets stronger, which is gotcha. fine. It's not a bad thing by any stretch, but it's not. I don't know, man. Okay, so, I'm gonna, actually going to go visit this guy. Are you cleaning out territories there? Like, there are borders? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so when you're looking at this map, like, this is, like, red is where Scrotus's folk uh, have the most influence. Okay. And with every, every base that you capture, every uh, yeah. scarecrow that you tear down, uh -huh. you reduce uh, his influence in that region a little bit more. To what end? Uh, do you get, like, cheaper... 
prices on something? Well, so when you take over the bases, towers, if you will. Yeah, I will. Uh, you essentially install allies into those areas, and they start generating scrap for you. Oh, great. Okay. Hilariously, I started taking over bases before I'd ever even made it to my first stronghold, uh -huh. so I had no idea who those allies were at the time. Oh, like, really? I was like, wait, who am I populating with this with? That doesn't make any sense. Matt, you know, Mad Max is a bunch of friends. That's part yeah. of the character. Everyone, everyone loves Max. Uh, where am I right now? I'm... Where am I? All right, I'm down here. Okay, so there's also like these balloons. These are your vantage points mm -hmm. where you go up in a balloon and then you see all the quests. And then you can see where all the icons are. Is it, does it, stop me if this sounds like too familiar. I to know. You. We're in an age now where there are definitely there are archangels of uh, of open world games. There are <laughs> archetypes. Yes. You can pick your your select your archetype here. I mean, it's a common language. It's a common vernacular for this stuff now. Like. And We've I had enough of these. The thing that kills me is that like I I am so careful to not just outright dismiss the formula because I know that I will, and then two months later something new in the same formula will come out, and I'll love it. And like so so I know that it has to be actually more nuanced than that, right? Like, yeah. I really didn't like the crew and the way that the crew used this formula for a car game, uh, but I can conceive of a version of it that I really liked. And, yeah. And and. It's a shame to see it used so often and so and also poorly. I mean, I look at it this way: like you get Avalanche on board to make a game. Yeah. I understand why you would want to make it into an open world design. Totally. It's just this isn't Avalanche's open world design. This isn't the kind of game they typically make. Is it too restrained? It just feels a little too restrained for them. Like even in you know all its post apocalyptic nightmarishness, like it still just feels like it's a little. It's just too rote. It's just too, like, you know, by the numbers, like, here, here's your checklist of things you have to do right. when you are in an open world. And the basic, like, export, or the basic combat and stuff just isn't as in, as engaging as No, it just like, the combat's us. okay. It's just not great. And in fact, it, it's, it's only difficult when there's a lot of guys. If you only have a few, you can just bowl everyone over. You stand ready to be. So this guy is like a weird religious fanatic, and I see. he gained these tokens by completing challenges and stuff. Uh, and when you get those, you can uh, upgrade. These are other upgrades that he will give you. Oh, God, there's more upgrades. You can upgrade it or your not. metabolism. Yes, that's a sick upgrade. So way away from breaks. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Uh, what else do I need? I could just upgrade judge his legend level. You what? know, I could always use better judgment, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know what the legend level does yet. I mean, Fury mode longer. Yeah, all right, sure. Why not? Yeah, that'll do. So it is a, a token per upgrade, is, or did you spend... Yeah. Does it, do Ugh, I, do oh his God. clothes ever, ever change? Yes, when you upgrade his outfits uh, and armor and stuff, that stuff does change. Okay. Can you play as Rico? You cannot play as Rico, at least as far as I know. So uh, he, he disappears from the world every time you you know you do that, and then he'll reappear at some point. Is he even really there? That's the thing, dude. Is he? I don't. Is I don't he? know. Chum Bucket knows, apparently knows man. he's there, so I think he is real. Yeah, but who knows? Yeah, Chum Bucket, is Chum Bucket really there? That's Are you really fair there? fair point. Are you really there? Mad Max, get it? Mm, he's mad. Oh, like like he's crazy. Right. Not angry. Yeah, he's not, right, I'm can... not Mad Max. He's, I'm, he's Mad Max. Right. He's mad, Max. So yeah. now, now you you have no mission, or your mission is to return. Well, so I could go back here and I could take on another story mission, or I could just start wandering the wasteland doing some other stuff. I would actually like to do a little bit of that. Right, well, let's let's go take down a camp. Take what down do you a say? Tower, yeah. This is an easy one, so let's just go do that because that shouldn't be too much trouble. Uh, How does the fast travel? I assume you unlock it by doing towers or whatever. Yeah, whenever you do those uh, those those balloons mm -hmm. that unlocks more fast travel locations and those strongholds are are, are fast travel locations gotcha. as well how's your gas mileage uh actually i just realized i'm almost not i'm kind of low on fuel uh so if i see any scavenging areas on the way i might just grab some so fuel is another thing you have to keep track of it's in the bottom right there it, is yeah. it actually a concern or for the most part you're so here's the thing is that i have very rarely lo like run out of fuel and usually when i do i can find some nearby I don't want the shotgun, I want that. Yeah, there we go. This is one of those scarecrow things that I need to tear down. The weak ones, you can just use the uh, the, the harpoon, and that's that. Okay. Uh, that the reduced? stronger ones, you need you need more powerful so, stuff. Okay. Got the god. I'm going to just try and get to, There's a piece thing over here. I just need to get it. I just, Jump. Just let me over. There we go. 
Uh, another thing I will say, I hate. I do not like the way Max controls. Mm -hmm. He has this really shitty little jump, really which little doesn't jump. really get you anywhere. <laughs> really Ooh, that's a bad jump. There have been multiple times where I have been trying to traverse like rocks or other areas, and I feel like I got up to where I was trying to go purely by luck, and not because of, you know the mechanics were really supposed to let me do gotcha. that. You, you open worlds your way up there. Yep. So kind of got caught on some geometry. Pretty much. Jump. Oh, hey, there's a scavenging location over here. What's that? What? So what is a scavenging? Those location? are those little. Ca that, so when I first started off, that little encampment oh, that I was right. in, that's where they are. So there's like usually a couple of enemies around here, and then you just start, you know, you just take everything. Do they ever have guns? Yes. They, well, they don't usually have guns, but they have weapons. Oh, are you in fury mode? I am already. Yo, suplex. and I'm just gonna German suplex this motherfucker because why not? Suplex was pretty good. Yeah. So I do like oh. this stuff, though. Even though it's like, why is Max really good at wrestling? I don't know. Why is he? Do yeah. I, why did he just all do a fucking these, Shawn Michaels drop kick right are there? Pro wrestling moves. That's, 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 I that's love wrestling. It just doesn't feel like a Mad Max thing, really. right? Yeah, I feel like he's a little, this is a little, almost a little too technical for him. Yeah. yeah, there's another convoy going there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so there's some food. Oh, mm, dog I food. I'll just eat that out of here. Oh boy. Dinky D is my food. Literally, the only food I have found is dog food and maggots and rotting corpses. Wait, you oh, eat corpses? Rotted, rotted you corpses? eat the maggots out of the corpse. Oh. Hey, look, some gas. Let's use that. Let's just, just take this. How about that guy in the cage? Is there a person in that cage? Maybe he's rotting. I can't tell if he's alive or not. Go he's, put hey. that gas. Hey, are you alive hey. or not? Mm. Maybe if I throw this gas can at you while it's on fire, you'll wake up. What's your mm. maggot situation like? I'm kind of hungry. Does Chum Bucket eat? Uh, I've never seen him. He's worked it out. There we go. And now we get to watch the refueling animation. Should we skip it? Nope. You just cancel it? Yep. And again, like, I'm not innately opposed to that stuff taking time, but it doesn't seem like an avalanche thing to do. Wait, wait, there's some more gas in there. Well, I, I already, so I have another spare can in the back. Mm. Can you, can you combine jerry cans or something? It says take fuel can if you held there, it said. All right, well then let's just put what's left in the, in the back then. Hold on to this chum. Oh. Nope, wait, no. no, there was one in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it said take. And, and guess what? You can't now you gotta watch that animation. Yeah. So you can't. And it has to do that fade every time. That's the thing that kills it for me. If you didn't have to do the fade, if it was just like, oh, you're doing it, yeah. that wouldn't be so bad. You're the, doing it. The worst was the, the Red Dead skinning animation. Yes. Man, I hated yes. that so much. Which right. again, was sh it was a, sh was a shame because I actually did just like being in that world and spending time not doing much like yeah. being in the woods and just like or you know in the plains was great but like that cut away from action really does make it kind of kind of shitty well it's yeah. like a point where you're just like trying to glitch the thing to like break the animation yeah go faster come on come on come yeah. on There's something oh, else down here. what's that sign say oh yeah i hear something hey yeah this is a project part just break it with your foot yeah Built the scrap crew. Oh, so if you get two more of those, you can have like a crew getting more scrap for you. Okay. Oh, the location is 100% looted. That's good to know. Do yeah. To, do you have to go to your scrap? Oh, it is good to know, actually. That's cool. Uh, well, like Austin, you were saying that between like maybe the movie and this, I mean, this is a video game. They do yeah, have to totally. communicate yes, of stuff. And this is the thing. This oh, is yeah. not based on Fury Road, so any expectation that it would like follow in the exact same footsteps, I think, is unreasonable. But yeah. I hear you. There are elegant ways to do there it. Are elegant yeah. ways. Again, you have literally you have a, a you have a character with you who is shouting you things about what you right. do and what he knows about the world. So right. like. Could just be that that's not gonna work. Or like, looks like we're clear here. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right, like that was him calling out a sniper. Just yes. There. Um, instead of it saying sniper, like sniper yeah, yeah. on the horizon. On With, the, on and the so screen. you have a sniper rifle. I think I'm out of sniper ammo at the moment, but mm -hmm. yeah, so you can just take those guys out. Or, you know, if you get close enough, you can just use the harpoon gun to pull them out. Are you in slow motion here? Yes. Okay. So whenever you go into the aiming, for uh, the the harpoon gun or the shotgun, it goes into slow motion. That's cool. Yeah, so you can tear like those that. things out on, yeah. the, on the run if you're good enough. That I like a lot. Oh, look mm -hmm. at all that water. Yeah, I've already got a full canteen though, so I'm gonna come back to that one. You should go ruin that water. Eh. <laughs> ruin it. For I might everybody. need it later. You will occasionally see random people walking along, and that you you can give them water uh, if if you have it. Does it get you anything? Just, I, so I don't know Legends? because I've never had water when I've encountered one of them because oh. water is 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 a hard thing to come by. Sure, water and bullets. Is it like your what? What do you use water for? Living. 
Yeah, life. Oh, okay. Oops, come on. Come on. There we go. What's this mode? I don't know. This is the hey, you're in a you're in a camp oh, thing. Uh oh. Oh. Well. That was it. This is a weak one, so all they had was that one tower. Yeah, I saw you attacking one of these earlier, and it had like mortars and all sorts of stuff. That yep. one. That was not so this bad. Is, this is this is this is easiest difficulty area. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where are there? They just called you the Raggedy Man. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Chicken chase. Let's go teach them a lesson. <laughs> what do you say? Sounds good. Oh man, look at this. They've spent some time here, though. Yeah. Like. Oh, somehow they got this lumber from somewhere with no trees. Well, why do you think there's no trees? Uh, have you looked outside? Because they took it all. Oh, I see. Oh man, that was the apocalypse? Yeah. Yep, pretty much. Or actually, this is, this is all reclaimed, really artisanal. Like, <laughs> uh, pay a lot of money for this. Some real good woodworking skill. Right, oh, so I thought you learned something this. really bad there and you ended up just, yeah, he's, yeah. he's done. Yeah, like there's a lot of like, I mean, this is poking fun at this, but like, Look at all the metal, wood, and like <laughs> all of this stuff. Where did it come from? Again, like I think that that's one of the messages of of that movie was like it's not that we don't have anything. It's that like there wasn't a lot for a while, and then the people who got it back did not share it. But yeah. like, but like, like there's a place called Gas Town. It's filled with gasoline. Sure. Fuck but, that insignia. Fuck your insignia. Fuck yeah. your colors. Why? Okay. Sure. Uh, but like. Where are the ruins of civilization? Right. Well, again, you're on the seabed, right? So you, when you're when you're I don't know. So that's when you're <laughs> uh, driving around, you see like a big old bridge that's just like in chunks. Okay. Like the the big you know cement columns are left, but the rest of it has all either been scrapped mm -hmm. or just destroyed. But yeah, this is not like a, you're in the cities. Yeah. Yeah. Like where are the cities? Apocalypse. I guess that's Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different kind of apocalypse. Or uh, or Last of Us, right? Yeah, because right, man, what a pain in the butt to like transport all this stuff. Yeah, thank you. That guy for... just dropped a ladder for you. Yeah, no, yeah. thanks. That was really hey, nice hold of you, on, dude. Hold on, let me get down. Hey, are you right. the, are you the new ladder? Oh god, oh. I did not think this through. I really did not think this through. Oh god, a knife in my face. Oh jeez, wait, you have knives? Yeah, so you have these shivs you can use in limited supply, and if you if you stun a guy long enough, uh, you can you can use that. Wait, finisher. Do your shivs break? Yes. Mm. Man, when did that become a thing? Last of Us. Come on. <laughs> Oh, oh, more more dog, dog food. food. Mm. Flavor of the month, eat six cans of food. The Dinky D did real well before oh. the apocalypse. So those challenges are how you get more of those tokens for a crazy uh, spiritual uh, Ga mystic Gaffa ghost. Gaffa Griffa. 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 Which I, I was calling him Pippa originally, which is so wrong. <laughs> Pippa, what, uh, is, uh, Pippa is a Lord of the Rings character, I'm pretty sure. Also, I think a, a member of actual British royalty. <laughs> yes. Is it, is it like Kate Middleton's sister or something? Oh, is that true? I think so. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know. She was in Lord of the Rings? Yeah, yeah she was. It was weird. That, you know, I didn't catch... The Hobbit stuff kind of went off the rails for yeah. me yeah. at some point. So I am like supremely overpowered for this place, so I will probably just clear this out with no problem. Uh, Seems like you're not ha having much issue. These do get a lot harder. Uh, there are various other defenses you have to deal with. There are also these war criers, who are these guys that just dangle from the, the ceiling, mm -hmm. and they have like these big flamethrower things attached to them, and they give buffs to the okay. enemies that you're fighting. Oh, geez. But if you take them out, uh, they die in a fiery explosion. That's pretty great. That Is that a water good. cooler? Yeah, it's more water, but I've already got water. Did you guys see the new uh, Mad, uh, Mad Men? <laughs> uh, uh, where are you going with that, Vinny? It's the water, <laughs> water, the water, the water cooler, cooler talk. talk. You know, people in the, in the post-apocalypse <laughs> love <laughs> AMC. See, I, it's been so long since I stood network, next... The only network that's right. <laughs> it's been so long since I actually talked to anyone at a water cooler, <laughs> I sort of forgot that was even a concept. You've seen a, a True Detective season 45. <laughs> really, it's just not as this good. Is, this is True Detective season 3. <laughs> All right, so there's the... Oh, I see him up there. Are you, yeah, you so gonna I'm gonna make this. So I'm gonna throw it. Hey guys, catch! Don't mind me. <laughs> hey, what happened? Hey, I'll just keep running. Don't mind me. Hey. Jeez. Ah, you know that's why you're a war boy, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna get away from the the war crier guy. Can right, you uh, shoot him? Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, with I can shoot him, and I will. So but I think these guys are easy enough that I don't have to worry about him. Right. I'm assuming triangle is the counter, right? Yes. Okay. So does, does Max just have like fire fingers? Like what? How is he lighting all this stuff on fire? Did you have to pick up a lighter from? Let's somewhere? just assume he has a match somewhere. Okay. Let's just go with that. Okay. You didn't have to do a mission to get like a Zippo. No. And so let's see. I don't think I want to waste a bullet because there's no uh, other guys around. Oh, that's the guy. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi. What do you want to hear? 
I could do like like a set, a carol of drums or something. There you go. <laughs> this is the only part of this game that has like made me laugh at all. Is that the way this guy pleads with you not to kill him? You don't kill the war crier. Not sure if you're aware. You, can you leave him? And uh... I could, but okay. I'm not gonna. Okay. You know, I didn't need all those things I cried. Is it is it the same dialogue each oh, time? Yeah, it geez. is. There's like a handful of lines that he yells. Oh, he just exploded. Yeah, he's yeah. just dead. Well, that's the thing. He's like carrying a giant flamethrowing pack on him, so of course he explodes when he hits the ground. Can I go in there? Oh, how do I get in there? It's a secret. I want to go in there. You have to jump from the other. Oh wait, here we go. Door. Door. Yeah, I just have to kick this door open. That's that's. It's not really much of a secret at all. Oh, this guy's been playing Gears of War. Yep, big Gears fan. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, this is Sarah. <laughs> that's where this takes place. Oh, you, this is the Pendulum Wars? This is the Pendulum Wars, yes. Finally, the, the reboot we've all the wanted. The fuck are you people on about? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. I haven't really played Gears since Gears 1, yeah. so I don't really remember anything it was just like about this. anything. Oh, can't get through I there. Just wanted, uh, please, thank you. Uh, these are big bases. Yeah, they're pretty good size. And this is not even like one of the huger ones. And so this will fill out with NPCs who are like, you're cool with? Yeah, eventually. Yeah, but like, you can spend some time getting all this stuff. Yes, and that's the thing, is I have spent a ton of time doing that so far, and I've barely, like, I've done a handful of story missions, and that's pretty much been it. Are you, someone's crackling, are you on fire? I don't know, I don't, think, I don't think I'm on fire. I am by myself! I think it might be you. me, yeah. Maybe. Uh, oh, so wait, no. I, I saw you playing a little more of this uh, before the quick look, and uh, when you got a couple of guys on you, it can seem like you can get pretty vicious. It can, and you know, trying to keep those uh, those parries uh, going while you while you are being surrounded by like seven or eight dudes is not great. Sure, it's not fun. It's the like same in all these games. There's also like an extra timing component with it, with like perfect parry. Yeah, I mean, those are those are hard to pull off, but mm -hmm. you don't have to pull those off to get through. Okay. Ah, the music's solid. Yeah, the music is very good. Uh, the problem is the game does have some audio issues, like editing. Ooh. Um, sound effects will cut out occasionally. There was one time where I was talking to the uh, Griffa, and it was in the middle of one of those electrical storms, and then all the audio from the storm cut out, but then came back in for like three seconds, and it was really fucking loud, and then it was just gone again. So like little glitches like that, those kinds of bugs sure. are, are somewhat prevalent. Why is this guy all dizzy? Because I keep punching him. Yeah, really, because he's beating the shit out of him. Oh, like he's got like an electric head. I think it was like the stun Yeah, animation. it's like the stun animation oh. thing. Yeah, Sorry. you really beat the crap out of that guy. I did. That was what I was there to do, so... Alright, so... I think what Feral I need... Feral Fiend, level 10. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna destroy this oil pump. I'm... Um, wait. What, you, can't you use it? Yeah, don't destroy this. No, the point is I, I'm destroying it because uh, it's part of Scrotus's uh, thing. Wait, well, it could be your it. thing. Yeah. Well, no, I have to destroy it first in order to rebuild. That, hmm. I mean, I no, you, that makes sense. That checks out. I assure you this is the way it works, okay? okay? This is the way I, the game yeah. has decided this is all going. I'm not from the post-apocalypse. So yeah, yeah, what do you know? know? That's, uh, that's... That oil well is corrupted. It's got bad. Oh. This is this is evil oil. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna make good oil. Right. Yes, we're gonna have the extra clean or whatever. Oh, you destroy it with more oil. That's the irony. Think I of the think, irony, Vinny. I don't think you were standing far enough away. Think of it. <laughs> yeah, think thinking. of the irony. Think of the irony. I have to. Oh no. All right. So now. You did do it. Yep. Despite our bantering and. I did that. Trying to pick holes in the plot. You did <laughs> You did succeed in that mission. All right, so... You know, those oil fires, I've heard, not easy to put out. Yeah, they kind of burn no. for a bit. I've seen that documentary. Yeah, that's that's going to go for a while. So now you're going to call your homies and be Which like... Which documentary? Uh, the Werner Herzog one. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, what is that called? I thought you were talking about Roger and me. No. No. Watch the flame. Don't look at differently. At the end, they light them back on fire. Yep, it's great. Right, Wait, who's so that guy? That's just that's a guy who's now because they, they showed up real fast. Oh, these are now you, I've got these yeah. are my people. Oh, they're just like all hey. right. What's up, posse? Hey, you, you didn't have to blow the thing up. You guys want to like do anything? You Talk? really wrecked yeah. this place. Like, yeah. No, all right. Good job. I guess you're making work for your guys, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. You're, you're basically uh, you're a job creator. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey, you know what this place could really use? An oil rig. Yeah. Some, some music, maybe something to play some drums. That'd why be don't cool. You, uh, why don't you get right on that? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go over here, because this is one of the Wasteland missions, which is like the main side missions that you get from various characters. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, this one one I've been sitting on for a while, so I'm gonna go do that. Do you ever lose uh, bases? They retake them over and you have no. to defend them. That's good. I don't that like that. Good. So. Yeah, no, the bases just stay yours once you take them over. Really good sky boxes here. Yeah, I mean, look, it, the frame rate gets real bad in this game sometimes. I'm playing. We're playing on PS4, by the okay. way. I figured we should mention. That. I think these are these water people. Let's uh, let's give them. Really let's see what happens if I give them what they want. I've heard tell of water coolers. I'm gone. Not far. Right here. Certainly, yes. You know I would never. You want, you want some? Here, just, seriously, just take it. Seriously, just drink, drink that water. Just, I've got actually got water. gallons of it. You can just have it. I just took over a base. There's a water cooler there. That's oh, backwash. <laughs> Gross. Hmm. Just that one person. Hey, you became gas guzzler. Okay, so I ranked up because I did that. That's something. Yeah, that's worth it. That, was, that, worth, that was worth half a canteen of water. Is that totally. like a hot new beard style? Oh, let's find out. Well, oh God, I hope so. Oh, look at all this new stuff. Yeah, new stuff. Oh, what do we got? Oil smear on face. Oh, preview that. But it's free, it. so why not try oh, it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, these are free. Mm, okay. You did just blow up a big oil yeah, tanker. Yeah, sure. So. You so want to stick with this for a bit? You burned your beard off and yeah. got a little yeah, sick. All right. Yeah. All right, so I can upgrade my ammo belt. That sounds useful. Yeah. There's stuff, man. Yeah. I think I can get new knuckle dusters. Yeah, let's definitely do Extra that. Extra damage, sure. Those show up. Rip bar yep, you can see there's like yeah. more spikes on them. Ooh, yeah, you don't want to that. Those will hurt. With that. Oh, and skills. Let's see what new skills we got. All right, so these are all ones that I just have, I have unlocked, but I haven't like acquired yet. Reversal, so. that's a... Melee weapon execution, reversal, acquire the skill to weapon uh, parry to un... All right, so I need weapon parry first. Wall finisher. Do you have to spend more points to get this stuff? Well, you spend the the scrap that you have to get oh, this stuff. Oh, I see. I it's see. Limb breaking counter. Okay. You know, let's get the limb breaking counter. That sounds like fun. Sure. That let's sounds see. like some uh, sleepy dog and stuff. And then mm -hmm. for the garage, since I got, oh, I don't know if I have enough scrap to get anything here right now, but sick rims. Anything, anything? Yeah, no. So I, that was would be the cheapest one. Right. So that's Boy, why. I, but Max right. is Max is doing better now. That's dense. Yeah. Dude, yeah. This. So oh I, no! I didn't oh. mean that. I'm sorry. Alex. Oh, no. um, I can't. just keep your you water. Just keep gave your, the water. Keep your water, and sir. And then you ran them over. Don't, Alex, don't leave any witnesses. Alex, they'll they'll tell the tale. The rip. You <laughs> killed them. Get more water. Water's inside them, Alex. Look, I got what I wanted out of this exchange, which Man. was the breakup. I did forgot they were there. It's, I'm sorry. That was not on Alex, purpose. I promise you, I did not mean people. to do that. They're not people. They're they're hot. You level up again somehow. <laughs> you got more water. God, damn it. All right, where's Griffa actually? Because if Griffa's nearby, I might want to just get some stuff. But if I, Griffa is not, I there. heard that you can like. You can get a person and just give them water and then get them out of your car and yeah. then just run them back over and get your water back. That's why Jack, that's why Jack Thompson yeah. hates this game. Oh. Don't mind me! <sighs> It'd be great if they were like, don't, don't fuck with that guy. He's actually insane. He's actually the worst. I saw him just kill people for drinking his water. So the one actually great thing uh, with the car combat, which is not always super fun, uh, but I have totally just driven uh, bad guys' cars off of cliffs and watched them explode as they go down. Like, like push them off. Like, or? just I just ram them off a cliff, nice. and then just you see the big fireball come nice. up as they go down. And I think that's great. Yeah, that's a thing that I, I definitely approve of in this game. Can it's you nice. uh, on your tail? Can you use your harp? There you go. But you didn't. No, I think I missed. Oh, no, you still have it. You still have it. You're still harpooned. Are you? It was. It just it just disconnected. It said, like, press circle to disconnect. I shoot the guy. I just want to, mostly just want to shoot the guy. There we go. That's what I wanted. Hey, come with me. Hey, jump bucket's a pretty oh good God. shot. Uh, that's silly. That's... All right. Just get See, like, that's cool. All right, now we'll do a little windsurf and let's go. <laughs> go. And how, then, how long will he stay on the back of your car? You know, indefinitely. Really? Until you let him go? Yeah. Alright, give me some stuff. I want some stuff. Anything else? Oh, wait, oh, sandstorm. Sandstorm, gotta go. Hey, chum, you might want to get in for this. 
Also, I wish I had windows. Also, wait, was he lying? What sandstone? It was uh, definitely changing it's color. It's over there, I think. It's that twister. Weird. That little twister. Ah. So, yeah. I mean, those aren't great. You don't want to be in That's those. That's fair. You're not wrong. I suspect you, you, if you were to drive to the ends of the earth, you'd just run out of gas, right? Well, so, you, if you drive off the borders of the map, what happens is you get... Uh, oh, hey, there's another encampment here. Hey, guys. Anyone, anything going on over here? Uh, you just start driving into what they call, I think, the the big white, or uh -huh. it's it's like it's essentially just like no man's land. Uh. And when you go out there, it says, "You warning, you're going out there. Don't do that." Yeah. And I don't know how far out that goes, but presumably pretty far. Uh, and then I think you would eventually just run out of fuel if you just kept doing that. So what happens when you do run out of gas? Uh, the car just doesn't drive anymore until you get more gas. How do you get more gas? Uh, you find it in the so, world. So you have to get out of the car and walk. Yeah, or you could, you know, fast travel to... Uh, oh, you still can fast travel. I think you can still fast travel. I haven't actually tried. Like, you, can you go somewhere and then call the car and then Chum magically has gas? I don't... I think if you're out of gas, not necessarily, mm. but... I don't know. I have... A, that, that's, that is a thing I have not tried yet. Sure. Why would you want to run out of gas? That's I a know. silly question. <laughs> hey, now you can hold two broken ships. Did you always have that? Uh, I don't think you I did. You that ammo belt. Oh, maybe that's the ammo belt. Is there anything else over Yeah, right behind you. Nope, just these totally five people. That's just people. gas. Oh, that's gas, okay. Which I mean, a barbecue. Not the end of the world, but I need... Uh, there's some scrap around it here. It is the end of the world. Well, oh, no. you know, when you phrase it like that... Oh, all right, that's go. where I'm going. All right, so there's one more thing of scrap around here. I like the seabed theory. I, or seafloor. Yeah. It makes things make a little more sense here. Oh, but I wow. wish you just saw some, like... Core, like, dried coral. Like these uh, containers, right? Like they fell right off of a ship or something? Or like you train oh, yeah, drag these or something. There's tons of shipping containers all over this damn place. What's over here? What's the deal with this tower? Can I go up there? I bet, it's, I bet what I'm looking for is up here. And then like all Don't the mind the hanging body. That's that's no big deal. <laughs> like the actual cities would be on like mountains? Right. Yeah. Right. Giant plateaus, right? That body... That's not real. There's what I'm looking for, and some ammo too, nice. Uh, do you have an ammo limit? If so, you've never hit it. I have yet to hit it. Zipline? Yep. Wee! <laughs> Rode a zipline, 100%. Was I like fun. Riding the zipline part of your completion, or just coincidental? I mean, I think there's probably a challenge, like ride ziplines X number of times. Mm -hmm. That guy's gonna need some sunscreen. Eventually. I would love it if the way you hit your top level, and I would love it if you got like that that accomplishment for riding a zipline a bunch of times, and that was what you got to, to level up to Road Warrior Legend or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, the man who runs the ziplines, yeah. the raggedy man. Yes. Uh, this game looks, like for me, the open world checklist stuff, I can get down with, so yeah. Yeah. it seems all right. I can too, like if I, Give me a weekend where I have nothing else on my plate. Yeah, except listening to like podcasts or yes. something like that, and like totally okay, procrastinating. As, as long as like I'm enjoying the moment to moment. And this stuff this a lot. is the thing with the game is that I'm not hating it by any stretch. Like there are things about it that have frustrated me, and there are things about it that are not fun. Right. But it is not inherently a bad game. It's just it's very middle of the road warrior. Mm. Wow. Mm. How do you feel it? Cool. TM trademark. Go with it. <laughs> wow. I feel about that. I, you're writing a review for this, right? I don't yeah. know if, I, you know, at this point, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can even put that in the review because I, I, I've used it now. Yeah, it's that's done. right. It's, true. it's out there. I don't think. I don't think I'm strong. My harpoon yeah, is maybe. strong enough to hold that stuff. I think you need a level four harpoon. I think you're right. I don't even mind the the call out when it's like the that guy though. The, uh, yeah, there Whee! he goes. That's the part that I would say. Christ. That's the part where just cause feels like it was you know was somewhere baked into this. That like, and good explosions. Yep. Like that. Oh it. yeah, the the, expo the fire is fantastic. It's so good. It kills the frame rate at times, but it is so pretty. I kind of don't mind. Yeah. So have you seen the PC version at all? I haven't. Okay. I've heard it runs well, which is obviously not a given these days with WB ports. Right. But There's this, a ton of visual options from what I saw. Yeah, it looks like this one, it, it, from what I've read anecdotally, it sounds like people are not having a hard time getting that game to look good on PC. That's good. Oh, just wait here. 
my able hands, huh? Now the leathery stranger waddles out into the wasteland to speak to the hosts. His voice sounds kind of familiar. I like the chum bucket voice actor. Uh, the guy who plays Max is fucking dead weight. Like he's not. Mm. His his performance is not interesting in the slightest. But what does that mean? Can you? Oh, this is the dude. This is a token guy. Yeah, let's go get some more. I, I've got like eight tokens, so I might as well oh, spend geez. them. Yeah, you can probably play like Afterburner now or something. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like one game of Daytona. <laughs> yeah. I, it's not worth it, man. Like I get yeah. it, you like it, but uh. yeah, go play Joust instead. You play like eight games of yes. that. Not with the cars, man. It's like you're get you're in the driving thing. It's great. I get it. You want to go away, but yeah. It's... Hey, talk, Hi. talk to me. Give me stuff. There you are. Don't blow the stuff in my face. Lungs still even, heart still beating. Yet you... you refuse to live. Cooking. Perhaps you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am. If you knew, why would you wander like this? I don't know. Why do you do it? <laughs> yeah. What's your deal? I don't know where I'm going. Tell me again that you're going to the plains of silence. That is. That's my destination. I'm going to cross the plains of silence. There's some plot for you if you like it. Yeah. Okay. That's where he's going. And then I'll just blow this in your face. Yeah. Right. All right, so more health. Yes, totally. Oh, yeah. Intuition, sure. All of these only cost one, huh? Yes. Jeez. But it goes in that full circle. So, like, there's there's still plenty of, you know, upgrades to what get. One of those, wait, wait, that bottom one? Volition. He just used <laughs> less fuel because this guy blew magic dirt in his face? Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. D don't you... That's what happened when I got my. Prius. How do you how do you conserve yeah. fuel? That's why I don't I don't I haven't driven in a few years. So yeah, I mean, you're not up I'm on not the, up on it. All right, yeah. lots hybrids, of, lots know, of upgrades. Yeah, hybrids. You know, the big car companies can actually make it so those cars can run on blowing dust in your face, but they they buried it. They bought all the patents. Jeez. Oh yeah, there's a big ship straight ahead. Yeah. Is that a big, oh, it's just, that's, no, that's a rock. rock. You can see what I was going for though. There are some big. You'll see some big boats. Okay. Ooh, around. Okay. Look uh, at that big exclamation point <laughs> in the distance. I think that might be one of the big So boats. if you if you were to go forward, slide down this mountain, could you just call Chum and he'd drive over to you? Yes. Okay. Do you, does, does it take him a while? Or is just a, oh, is it, it takes him do? a hot second. You fire a flare gun. Oh, okay. is it one of the cool ones from the movie with like the big puff of smoke? You want to see what it looks like? Yeah. Do you have unlimited? Over here. Yeah. Oh, he do just, you just finger, flip him off? Okay. Yeah, no, he does. I think because I'm there. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Can't build here, sir. All right, where was I going? Uh, you were going to go take a... A wasteland mission. Yeah. To the east, I think? Yeah. Do you want to see what Jeet's stronghold looks like first? you want to see a big boat? Or yeah, would you let's, rather... let's right, see a big let's boat. Let's just drive over to where Doesn't Jeet's far stuff away. is. No, it's not. It's close. Just up the block? Yeah. Jeet's in a smaller boat than uh, Gut Gash, but it's still a boat. And uh, Chum Bucket, when you first met him, he was in a big old ship, but that got taken over by raiders pretty early mm. on. Also, you have a dog friend. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Where? Uh, he's currently in one of the strongholds. You use him to discover mines, like there are minefields, and he helps you oh. detect where the mines are. Uh oh. How do you seek shelter? Uh, you go inside, pretty much. Or if you know, if you're outdoors, you find like an overhang with a roof or something. Uh, what sort of storm is this? Where is it? I don't know. I don't. Oh, that's it. Oh, jeez. That's that's the storm. Do you want to see what I happens when we're in the storm? storm. Wait, are you, All right. Are you gonna die? For well, I might. But if I restart, I'll just restart somewhere else in the wasteland. That's fine. Uh, but let me just show you where Jeet's uh, business is here, and then maybe we'll just uh, ride out the storm together. What yeah, do you say? Yeah, let's ride it out. Ride oh on boy. The storm. Can you let Chum Bucket out first? Oh, I see. Yeah, there's like the the top of the. That ships. was like a lighthouse, actually. Yeah, it does. I think that's, that's a lighthouse. Ooh. Oh, but here comes the storm. Oh! oh! And it sucks out here. That was way faster than I thought it would be. Kind of got up on us, didn't it? Yeah. You okay, chum? Don't mind us. We're just gonna. Oh, All right, where was where was I gonna go? Oh, down here. Yeah. All right, yeah, Can you let's just do that. Fast travel there. I mean, I could, but hey, this seems fun. Is there another? Ro There's a car on the road in front of you. There is. That one is, is a scrap transport. So if I kill it, I get a ton of scrap. Ooh. But they're hard to kill. And also, in the middle of all of this, I don't know if I really want to bother. Okay. It doesn't seem like you're losing health or anything. Well, nothing's hit me yet. Oh, there's flying debris? Yeah. This I don't know is where loud. that guy just went. This is definitely loud. Yeah, it kind of just takes over everything. This is definitely going to be a problem with me playing this, like, at night. Yeah, you, you got to keep that say. volume down. Ah, 
How long are the storms? They can go a while. I feel bad for his back. He should wear a shirt. You know, everyone just kind of looks fucked up no matter what they're wearing, so I think maybe clothing doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I'm just saying it probably hurts. Yeah. Sand, sand pelting you like a sand yeah. yeah. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it would be comfortable. They, uh, that guy, the crazy guy, had like a turtle shell made of wood, remember? Yeah. You can get one of those. I see a glint. I also see the glint. I'm not really gonna worry about it right no, now. I don't think you're. I, I don't think you're in danger of being yeah. sniped. I would assume. You would, would think not. not. No. Nope. Oh, it's also a lead slinger. Max, what can you tell <laughs> me about this hideout? You're talking a little quietly. Could you yeah. maybe speak up a little uh, bit? I said there's a lot of Tom Nooks that want your money. That guy's kind of a dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Like, the storm stuff is one of those, like, authenticity things I kind of get, but as a game design feature, it kind of sucks. Yeah. These are not cool. Like, would you have to be sitting underneath something this whole time? I don't know. Hey. Whoa, where'd Chum go? Shoot that guy. Oh, I don't have any... I don't, I have, don't any have any ammo. But it's okay, because I can just use my, uh... My harpoon and just take this guy out. I need to get in there and away from the storm. Yeah. You just oh, got. Nope, the storm's in the cave. You just got a thing for defeating him in melee combat. Yeah, that has happened to me a few times. I've gotten uh, achievements for fighting guys in melee combat when I was not fighting anyone. Oh, don't go back out. Like a few times, like cars have, like cars were just crashing nearby, and then some enemies died, and then I somehow Weird. got a bonus for that. Weird. Are you in the place you're supposed to be? Yes. This is it's where nice I'm supposed to be. It's nice and quiet. Yeah. Sea cave. It's indoors. Treasure chest. Yeah, this is an instance dungeon, I'm sure. <laughs> Who's this caveman? I don't know. He's mad. No. Whoa! There's that. There's that thing. Where just sometimes those sound effects will just start popping what up the again. Hell? It's really weird. You were that... not joking. That was bad. Yeah. That kind of shit just happens every now and again. Alright, who else do I need to. There's traps, man traps. Careful, careful, careful. I did not see the traps. <laughs> Thank you for saying hey, that. So, uh, that, was a, that was a good reason. My bad for not listening. That was a good oh, it's okay, because guess what? I got this water. I work. feel better, I feel. Oh, that's good stuff. It's vitamin water. Thanks, Fifty. <laughs> uh, Someone told me that Fifty Cent. Careful, there's another yeah, one right it. there. Okay. Fifty Cent was recently uh, signing vodka bottles. I guess because he has some sort of vodka licensing deal. Uh, at a shitty liquor store in Malden, Massachusetts, this past week. Sure. And dude. it was maybe the saddest thing I've ever oh, heard. Do what you gotta do. Oh, watch I'm it. just genuinely kind of sad that it wasn't Crystal Skull Vodka that he was... Uh, <laughs> did I just go backwards? Is that what no, happened? No, no, you're, no, you're going good. forward, right. I think. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that torch. Yeah, I think it's just I I just got turned around. Oh, hey, more ah! of you guys. Oh, oh this guy. weapons break eventually? Yeah, eventually, yes. <laughs> Shiv like I say, kamikaze? Something. No, Kama crazy. You know, there's a lot of like weird word amalgamations in here. You know, it's like post apocalypse, so everyone has their own language for really. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're still alive. Am Not I? Anymore. I punched you to death. <laughs> That's how that works. Mm. Yes, more, please. And Max, at this point, has killed a lot of people, right? Uh, Yeah, and I'm still got a long way to go in this game. I've only killed one of the top dog bosses. Uh, are those like war chiefs? What are they? Here, I'll actually show you real quick while we're here uh, in the bios. This? Characters. Oh, uh, you're going into the bios? Yeah, so this is Scrotus. This is the guy that. I'm Scrotus. I got a chainsaw. He sucks. Um, this like is Stank Gum, who is nice. one of his main people. It's a bad name. Yeah. Stank Gum. Uh, and then, so this is the guy that I beat Cabby Stump Grinder. Okay. And when you kill him. Snip, snip. Uh, you get that color scheme for your car. Psychosexual cool. way. You could wear that that color scheme on your car. You could put that in the car. I right could now. if I wanted to, but it's butt ugly, it so garish? I don't. Okay. Yeah. Inspired there's there's, by your, stump there's your dog. Oh, okay. So these are not all uh, villains. These are just no. uh, yeah, okay. all the bios. 
I just want to see what happens when I get to the end of this cave. These guys. <laughs> Bye! Wait, that's a bad fall. Yeah, they're both dead. One of them actually just do dove off with the second he saw me. Like, he didn't even... I mean, you're, you're kind of a rough dude. Is that wrench for for always? Yeah, I mean, I I that's just a random melee weapon that I picked up. So oh, that'll okay. drop. You'll drop that too eventually. Yeah. It's big wrench. Looks heavy. It'd be great if this cave was just a dead end. It would be extra <laughs> great if, like, that storm noise just, like, blasted it in yeah. here again. We got company! They see, they see you. Yeah, this is do. that cave from Feist where all the spiders are, so get out of here. Whoa. Oh, whoa. geez. Okay, whoa. yeah, so when that happens, I have to dodge. I can't oh, okay. I can't uh, get away from that. I got had a shield. Oh, man. I know. I'm a violent man. I'm a man of violence. Yeah. Can you shoot that guy? Just punch. You're punching through his shield? Yeah, eventually, because it eventually just breaks apart. Oh, oh man. No, oh, right in the new high. The what? You heard him. The balls. Oh! Good dodge. Hey, no. check this out. Ow. Right Your head. In the back of the head. Combat animations are good. I'll, yeah. I'll give them that. Like they, It flows pretty well. Yeah. It's just literally all I'm doing is mashing square. Like right. there are a few special attacks and stuff, but like I haven't really needed to use them a whole mm. lot. I did like when you do doing your wrestling stuff. That yeah. was fun. I, it looks like you still have like weapon executions to go and some other stuff. So I bet you. Yeah. Where is your uh, fury meter? It's that little circle, like the little uh, steering wheel thing that's kind of up in the top right, which is not there right now. But okay. water. Hmm. Right, so oh, so even this is limited. Even this water cooler only has a limited amount of water. Yes, in it. and it will refill if you come back another time. Okay. So this this doesn't check out. Oh well, that's a water cooler. Okay. Just give me all the water. Just it, drink all of it. And then you can get more water cooler after a bit? Mm-hmm. Who's this guy? Go ahead, tell this this one is the one I'm here to rescue. And if I was that one? I'd get you out of here. Are you him or not? Nope. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Seeing as you killed those two who fed me. They call me Blascap. Hail from the bullet farm. All right, well, you're Australian, so there's that. <laughs> this all checks out. Well, here you go, Blazcap. Have at it. Find your way home. <laughs> Mash button. Yep. Get yourself to Jade's lighthouse. Yeah, you're waiting for you. It is a lighthouse. Yeah, don't right. worry about me. I'm just I'm gonna. Now. Uh, I did, and I did. I, I went. Never mind. I don't have to, you know, carry him back or anything. <laughs> he, I just, had, uh... he had that fast travel place on left. Yeah, it's good. Ooh. You can just go out this way, too. An armory project. Mm. He has all those bullet farm secrets. Yep. I'm still not over how good of a name bullet farm is. It's good. Look at this place. Yeah. Raiding a tomb. <gasps> Ooh. Things. Wait, so could you have just come in this way? I don't know. I bet it's a high ledge that you jumped down from or something. Yeah, usually. Yeah, this oh, does yeah. not seem like an nice. area that I could have gotten awesome. up to. Well, look call. at you understanding how this <laughs> stuff works. How video games do. Yeah. yeah. Well, call your car. Can you do this indoors? I'm trying to hit it. Can so, like, you? step forward I mean, you're too far like under. under a ledge? Yeah. Uh, maybe I have to be on a road. I Is don't your know. flashlight on? Yeah, save that battery. I don't think that matters. Oh. Well, maybe, but that is maybe, what that was? Maybe it was just glinting. That was, I think that was my... Oh, maybe I don't have... Why couldn't I... Why isn't it let me shoot a flare? Maybe he, your car's close? No, because even then he yelled. Oh, that's true. There, there it is. is. I guess he the car couldn't get there. Okay, that's all right. So there are like those crazy like colored flares, like oh, the big awesome. cl colors, but that's that. But only when the camps are trying to signal for reinforcements against uh, you. Oh, okay. Oh, you left the seat all up. <laughs> I hate when you drive, chum. All right, let's do one last thing here, and then let's get out of here. What do you say? Yeah. Sounds good. Let's stank gum. Let's do uh, let's do whatever the next story mission is, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll go ahead and call that. How's the load on like a fast travel? 
Uh, it's not bad. I can I can fast travel there right now if I if you want to see it. Oh, uh, I don't kind of like the wasteland. All right. You're being chased. You got wretched roadkill on your tail. Yeah, well, they're not really chasing me. Uh, they're just okay. kind of. Is that nitrous? Idea. Yeah, you would do install a nitrous tank on there. They got nos. I, they always do. And it's recharging. So what do you got? You got your car's health, you got your nitrous, you got gasoline, mm -hmm. you have your health, you got your water. All these meters. Fury meter. Just mm -hmm. meters for days. Your shivs, your mm -hmm. bullets. Your shivs, your bullets. Your other bullets, your sniper bullets. Bullets for bullets. Is there another storm coming? Uh, I think that's just regular smoke. Oh! That's just me trying to speed things up a little. I'm just enjoying this drive. This is nice. It's nice, yeah. yeah. Put the radio on. Let's do this. Uh, oh. there, is no, there is no more radio. Uh oh. Satellite only? Yeah. Yeah. Man. It's just a number station somewhere that's still, still operating. Let's see that sunset real quick. Let's see that sunset. A little bright, I guess. That's good though. It's solid. Don't look right into the sun. There. That's yeah, pretty. That's pretty. pretty. Put the parking brake on. <laughs> Chum just holds it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Some nice colors on the uh Yeah, this light here is just great. Yep. That's actually the best part. Terrific lighting all around. Let's see what Jeet's up to. Oh, it'll just go? You don't have to worry about driving off the edge? No, no, it just brings you in. Let's see, uh, this is where my dog buddy lives. No, that's oh, your dog buddy. buddy. Mm -hmm. Hi, dog. Dog meat. All right, so that's where I need yeah, to go. This place talk. could use a little fixer upper. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a unique fixer upper. Well, so, I, you know. I hear it's possible to tear down the jaw with this. Ah, oh, that sounds like Guckash, John. But it's possible. With a pinch of black magic. What do you know? Ha! <laughs> oh, you got balls the size of boojums. Uh, I don't know what a boojum is. is. Uh, you don't even want it. There's a lot of ball talk in this game, to be fair. So Why would you put that stuff in your head? You'll need to get so he has some sort of neurotic disorder that he manages by self-mutilation. Oh. That's okay. in his bio. I would not have figured that out otherwise if I had not read his bio. I was going to say, with the risk of infection in this place... You know, I, I, at this point, I feel like infection is kind of like the last of anyone's concerns. <laughs> and those arrows are not actually in him? or No, they're just in a quiver. Yeah. That makes it down. Let's do it. So I guess if you're in a lighthouse, that's more credence to the like seabed stuff, right? Mm -hmm. like, lighthouse usually by water. Go to the cab now. No. <laughs> no yeah, Don't no tell thanks. me what to do. Go install the thunder poon. Um. Go install the thunder poon. I don't want to talk about Go it. Go install Vinny, the thunder this poon. This is very awkward. I'm doing it. Oh, uh, you thunder poon. <laughs> Thunder Poon of Tennis. Thunder Poon! <laughs> Thunder Poon. <laughs> there it is. I... Is this a thing you... Is this an explosive situation? I mean, could be. That one's got caught in high school with a copy How ample are your of... zing coils? Well, let's, let's, let's add some, some zing coils to this Thunder Poon. Got caught reading the copy of Thunder Poon. <laughs> <laughs> God. In uh, Wait, what's the one after that? biology class. Uh, like, too expensive. Good. Good. Thunder Poon of Terror. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what else can I do here? I could, yeah. Let's. Well, I don't have any ammo, but I might as well upgrade that now. All right. So those, uh, those in the movie, they had the, those like harpoons with the. I think you mean thunder poons. Yeah. Okay. You said it. Uh, those weren't in anything else, right? I don't think so. Like where they stick them in the cars and they kind of blow them up. He's psyched. Yeah! Oh, that's just a rocket launcher. Basically, yeah. So Thunder Poons are basically just like, uh, they're spears that, uh, that explode. I think you only have a limited number. Yeah, but I'm doing this, these tests, so I have to fire these. Oh, I see. Five. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you just got a bunch more. <laughs> can you feel it? Huh? We're ready for the Can you can you aim straight up into the air? With Thunderpoon. Oh, yeah, let's follow it. Ah, oh, boo, I wanted it to come back down. Alright, let's do right, this. Go to the let's dead go to something. Pass. Apparently. All right, so your car. The magnum opus. The magnum opus. Yes. Could essentially be anything. Yeah, you can actually you can change the design of it as yeah. you go along. Oh, like on the fly? Yeah, like so. Here's the the other bodies that I've unlocked. Let's go back to shovel face okay. for a little bit. Oh, that's not. Oh, okay, that's okay. Better. That's okay. I kind of like that. Car does stop at least, but yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what the other car looked like. Now. It was a little rounder. Okay. Yeah, it was. I think. It was definitely like a more old timey kind of sedan style. Right. See, like here's like some old, you know, pipeline stuff. Uh, just yeah, kind of yeah, around that's here. cool. Which would be on the bottom of the ocean. It would. Follow the money. Uh -huh. Who lives in the pipes? The money. <laughs> I, maybe that bottom of the ocean thing is a big known thing that I just never put together. I think it was a thing I'd, I'd heard during like press I material think this is type a camp stuff. that I already liberated. Yeah, that's what that check mark is. It looks like a balloon. Is there yeah. night? Is there yeah, day-night cycle? Yeah, it does. Cycles? It does go. Okay. It, it is a proper day-night cycle. It actually takes a little while too. I think I already did that balloon. Yeah, I did. I've done a lot of stuff over here. I haven't done too much in gut gashes territory. Hey, yet. look at the wind farm. Yeah. I like it in the post apocalypse there. It doesn't. I don't think that really works anymore. They're trying. <laughs> that works, I guess. You know, yeah, Max, I'm, I am back here. <laughs> Just want to remind you that. <laughs> that heads up. You knew what you were signing on for. Nope, didn't really. Thought you were some sort of saint, I guess, <laughs> but uh, guess I was wrong. I, I uh, guess. Nah, man. Jesus used to do this all the time. This is <laughs> this is how he kept the apostles on their toes. I guess you're just testing me still. <laughs> Boy, I don't actually know what I'm doing over here yet. You're going into the uh, the jaws. And then you're going to thunderpoon the jaws. Yeah, that is literally it. All right, well, let's thunderpoon the jaws. I think that is the gate. Ramming, ramming restricted, Alex. That's wrong. You need to, yeah. Give me the old, give me the old thunder poo. This is a little Batman. I don't think that, that did it. Oh, oh it yeah, did, it took it, it half there. All right. This could not be any less climactic, though. There we go. Yeah. I made it. I Woo! was expecting, like, a big, cool gate. Look at that boat. Oh, yeah. Well, there will probably be some stuff. There it is, oh, the okay. jaw. That's the jaw. What is the jaw? Right that there. big thing right oh, there. That thing that looks like yeah. a goddamn jaw. Okay, fair enough. I'll take that ramp and hit that thing. Hit that or just saying. do that. Hit that big ass jump. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's like dudes in here yeah, too. Yeah, there's All like right. an arena. We're gonna make this a whole thing. All right. Well, if you want to make a thing out of it, I guess we can do that. Nice. He's yeah. got a thunder poon. Yo, guys, the thunder poon's pretty dope. Yeah, I gotta be honest that's here. That's pretty cool. I can't, I can't front about this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm into it. I don't know, that grappling hook's <laughs> still, still my really favorite. That's still really good. Yeah, that's never not satisfying. <laughs> guys kind of don't really... Doesn't feel like a fair fight. No, they don't even have a chum bucket. <laughs> so you just gotta take these things out? I think so, sure. yeah. Oops. That slow mo is pretty generous. Yeah, too. Can, it is. Is that infinite? Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's cool. Yeah, you can just drive in. As long as you have that that loader thing up, it will just keep. Oh, I gotta stop here in a second, and let him uh, repair. Repair. Uh oh. Uh oh, behind you. Yeah, I see it. Jack him, jack him. Oh. Nope. Keep fixing the car. Just keep fixing the car. Oh, I have fire extinguishers. Why are they honking? Because they know <laughs> they're they're courteous. <laughs> Trying to let you know. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Here I come. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're just gonna get out? Let's All right. Just get in. You picked a bad time. Really shouldn't have gotten out of that car. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because now I have this car. 
but you've been detected by the Scrotus faction. Darn. Oh, that guy's out of the car, I think. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait! Oh, you want to do it like this? You want to do it like this? Is this, is this what you want? Is this what you're after? Because we can do this. Rawr. You and me. Oh, yeah, right. he got a shot in. How, uh, if you were to keep track, how varied are these uh, characters here? There's actually a decent number. Uh, yeah. If we want to, again, <laughs> take a look. Let's have a look at the enemies here, because there's lots. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. yeah, look Jabba at that. Boys oh, look at that guy from Two Team Fortress. Yep. Yeah. And then that's just the Scrotus team, because like there's all these oh. like random rogue yeah. kill people. Uh, and look at that sniper. And then uh, there's also like the buzzards. So there's like all these different factions. Cool. Uh, he's all, all right. set. Did he make any more thunder poons? Because you're gonna need. Some. I think I got like three of them, which might be enough to destroy these hinges. There must be some in here too. They like, would not. Like a crate with infinite yeah. thunder poons. Infinite Thunder Poons uh, is <laughs> oh. a hell of a sentence. Yep. Whee! All right, so that sniper's down. I don't think there's anything else. To, oh, wait, no, there's another one over here. No oh, jeez, how'd you even see these guys? Uh, I saw the glimmer earlier. All right, uh, I think... Oh, God, where am I even going? All right. I think you got this. I think you're right. Well, I think you're right. Camera well, could be better. Camera could be better in certain respects. Uh, okay. So there we go. We've got one of those. Those are recharged. Yeah, yeah. You're back up to seven of them. So maybe that is just yeah, a time yeah. thing. Or like, you maybe rolled over somebody mm. to notice. Yeah, hit it. No lock on for that. Yeah, that's one. Oh, he said thanks, B. I thought he said thanks, Bay. I was like, yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's that kind of, uh, it's just that kind of world. It's <laughs> just that kind of apocalypse. Now you gotta pull it, I assume? Yeah. I think so. Open those jaws. I need to kill all these people first. Do you need to or do you want no, to? No, I need to. It's important. Okay. Do donuts it's all. important that they all die. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Not great. They're throwing rocks at you. Yeah, that's not really gonna do a whole no, lot. Because I have this car. Yeah. And these, this car is actually stronger than rocks, weirdly enough. Oh. Man. All right, so I don't think there's anyone left. Oh, there's this one guy, but harpoon him. Just, just let him be. Just let him be. Just. Oh, okay. That was a thunder poon. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. All right, so back it up. That's not what I was gonna fire it at. That's what I was gonna. Fire. Oh, die. Oh, you probably want to be further yeah, away. Yeah, there it is. That's the business. That's it. Okay. I like that you destroyed the hinges with Thunderpoons and then just broke the gate down anyway. Well, the hinges were what keeping it up. Were what okay, so Let's I needed. Get... Sure. I needed the Thunderpoons in order uh -huh. to get them to the point where I could just pull the door off. Okay. Thunderpoon. I want to see what's on the other end of this. Thunderpoon! You can't just. You, oh. Whoops. Oh, hey. You Thunderpoon. Share, you gonna share that video? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna share anything. Thunderpoon is actually one of the PS4 commands that takes you to. <laughs> <laughs> Weird how they work out. Thunderpoon. That co marketing money. Yeah, really. let's see what's over here. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see what, this, what the world looks like on the other side of the jaw. I'm the giant Thunderpoon. Got these cranes. Yeah. Oh, some power lines. Yeah. Some oil fields. You made it to Disney. So this is the. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Look to the right. What's on fire over there? Is that Gas Town? Looks like yeah. Have it could you, be. Yeah, you... Gas Town is the ultimate destination here. Oh, that's definitely. Oh, I thought you were going to the Salt Plains or whatever. Well, right? you're trying to get so the the Gas Town is kind of like in the way of like Plains of Pain or whatever. So did you just open up like a new area? On yeah, the this map? is a whole new area here. Uh, I see. This yeah, is where you we are. opened up the north. End of the, oh yeah, that oh, is. No, yeah. Saying, I'm not even in the full north end yet because oh, Gas Town's all the way up here. Mm. But I've this is where I'd been stuck previously. Right. Where's the Thunderdome? Uh, you know, I'm sure <laughs> Tina Turner's running around somewhere. You know, uh -huh. let's just go. Let's just go up to this uh, this this balloon up here, and let's we'll call it there. It. Okay. We'll get a nice little uh, roll little out view of, your of car. the area. Roll out of your car, let it go flying. Uh, there's another sniper over here. Uh, not anymore. 
I really don't get tired of that. I will no, say that that's seems, really cool. But also, it just makes me really excited for uh, Just Cause mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. That's the thing. I, I I think that is the thing I'm taking away from this game is that this is mostly just making me more excited for Just Cause Three. Yeah. Like, there's some cool stuff Whoa. in here, but it's it's just not the same. I mean, that's a very Just Cause, and I assume Just Cause Three are very loose games. This, this seems a lot tighter. Oh, it, right. Like Just Cause Three will not have any of this melee combat stuff. I assume. I mean, it might have its own version of it. Maybe. Well, that game is much more about them. the explosions yes. than it is the fisticuffs. Yeah. yeah, it's got that loose kind of like run around, silly, silly, silly vibe. Yeah. Drink the rest of this water. Oh, you're just wasting it. Every drop counts. Around here somewhere. I, I bet there is. I bet there is. What's that? What's that glowy? I don't know. It's it's just, 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 just it literally is just a glowy flashlight. <laughs> it's a glowy flashlight. Sometimes a flashlight's just a Anything flashlight. Anything else in here? Yep. Anything here? No. That's a really crappy bus. Not a lot of seating on that yeah, bus. Yeah, you should. It's like that kid from Into the Wild was living in there. <laughs> Look at all that stuff. Gotta oh. get that scrap. Just all put that in your pocket. of that scrap. Scrap. I feel like. The 85 the cars you have destroyed, uh, that thing. Oh, that's a, it's a toilet. It's what used to be a toilet. It used to be an armchair. It's a toilet in a chair. I mean, isn't that a toilet? It's like Homer Simpson True. invented it. Uh, there's, there it is. Yeah. Uh, all those cars you've destroyed should be giving you more scrap. You're right. Like, you just found a trunk full of scrap. Yeah. There's One whole dog car. food, why not? It's already what, open, so. What does dog food get you? It's just health. Oh. You know, food. But water's also health, right? Yes. Food and water yeah. are health. Here's our... Uh, Alright, fly that balloon. You go up in the balloon? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't seem safe. No. Oh. <laughs> of course I do. Oh, Max. You're so <laughs> silly. <laughs> you dumbass. Alright, well... I where can, are the wires? They're right there. See really? that, that winch wire? Oh, boy. So it's okay. I know, I know where to go. Couldn't you just you tell Chum? Of where the steering wheel is located? <laughs> it, it cannot be I, you know, he's not really commandable. Surely you well, the thing's like, he's the one shooting all this stuff. I believe, I know he, ooh, look at that moon. Yeah, That's look at that red-ass moon. There's one more. There it is. All right, that oh. should be all of them. I think so. I didn't see any others. Yeah, I don't see any either. All right, well then we're just gonna go right back out there. We're gonna get in that damn balloon. And do my balloon Keep thing, Tom. Sure, sure. Maybe you'll find something useful for us. I like that attitude, Chum. Get it in check. Like that's that's a good shot. It's yeah. a good shot. There's some really good shots in this yeah. game. I will give it that. I will definitely give it that. Fly away. I definitely want to play this at least a little yeah. bit for that stuff. Like I I just I think there's really cool things in it. I just don't know how co mm -hmm. I don't know that it all comes together. Totally. I just and, want to go collect stuff. And I just wish I wish it weren't so so a WB. Mm -hmm. Open world game. Let's see that moon again. <laughs> Bye, Max. Wait. Okay, and then we get up here. Oh. How do you. Excuse me? And then you use your uh, binoculars to kind of look for stuff. You have binoculars? Yeah. Peace. All right, there's. Oh, you do have to find it yourself? Yeah, you just have to look around. Does it tell you of how many you've. No. Well, so you can miss stuff. Oh, that's a that's a hard camp. I don't. Think that I'm that camp looks rough. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready. Wait, to so wait, zoom in a little bit more. Are all those little white things like those are things challenges or those or they might just be defenses. defenses. Yeah. Okay. Can you use your binoculars wherever you are? You can. Okay. So you could tag stuff. Yeah. Oh, a death run. There are races in this game for no particularly great reason. Cool. Oh, right, because you're in a car. Oh, right, because it's an open world game mm -hmm. with cars, so of course there are. Uh, can you just take the balloon on over there? No. The balloon is, is attached to this base and will not go anywhere else. Can you look at the moon? I want to see if it's our moon. That's what I found. Nice. 
think you're going to see something. It's actually going to be Earth. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the moon. That looks like the moon. Yeah. That's probably the moon. The proper moon. Seems believably the moon. All right, shoot that balloon. I can't shoot it. I just can shoot just it. descend. No. I just descend. Heading back down. Ah, stars are starting to come out. Check the constellations. Let's map this. I Wait, bet you, you could do you that. Check the constellations. You can see what year it'll be. Yep. Let's see where they would be. As long as the you developers... what hemisphere <laughs> you're in. As long as they went through and they mapped it all correctly. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like 1962. Weird. Weird. <laughs> this is old star data. <laughs> all right. Well, in that case... Guys, this is Mad Max. It's in stores now. Uh, we've been playing the PlayStation 4 version. It's also out on Xbox One and PC. Cool. Thanks there for showing this off. No problem. There are things I like about it. I just... I don't know, man. Are you gonna? You think you're gonna go through for a review on it? That's the idea. Okay. Um, I'm more gonna have to take the weekend with this one because I've heard like 30, 35 hours <sighs> to get through That's most decent. of it, and yeah. uh, it's I'm healthy. I'm probably at like 10 or 11. So. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, guys.